Hey, what's up guys? Drew here over at Rev Hiker Outdoors, and I got a video for you today. Uh, and this is a request by, I've, I had this uh, request, this video request by several people on Instagram. Uh, and if you guys don't follow me on Instagram and you want to, it's just at Rev Hiker. Uh, so you can look me up on there. Uh, anyway, uh, I've had this knife for a few weeks now, I think about three weeks, and I wanted to do a review on it. And uh, I, I bought this because it's it to me it seemed like the big brother of my all-time favorite knife, uh, the Benchmade 940, which if you watch a channel, you've probably seen this in several videos. Um, so I wanted to get, I've been, you know, kind of jonesing for this thing for a couple reasons. I heard that CPM M4 was an awesome steel, uh, and I heard that... Uh, you know that this was just a great super strong knife and I was looking for something a little bigger and I knew this was substantially bigger than my 940 so uh, first off I'm gonna get the negatives out of the way on this thing uh, because there's all, there's a negative to just about every knife that you're gonna buy here's where the things that I didn't exactly like um, right out of the box the edges, you can see how this G10 is scalloped. Um, it kind of had like this pretty offensive edge right here. So what I did is I took uh, like the, the uh, I've got a Leatherman and it's got like a diamond uh, coated thing on one side and then a file on the other or however that goes. I just took the diamond edge which is pretty fine and I literally did one pass. Just went whoosh, all the way around the knife and it was enough to just knock it down uh, to where the couple little sharp spots here and there weren't poking me. I didn't take hardly any material off, barely any dust, so it was just to hit the really high spots. Um, other than that, so after about 10 seconds, the grip was great for me. Um, I wear a size XL glove, and, and this fits me really nice. I was worried about this oversized choil um, being able to fit both hands in there, but you know kind of when your hand wraps into it these just fall naturally in there and it doesn't feel awkward like I thought it would so uh, in in this which is kind of my most common grip if I'm gonna be you know carving something or whatever um, really works well also kinda in this if I'm if I'm cutting like this works really well if you did need to grip it like this my thumb wraps around there really nicely and you've got that big choil to keep your hand from slipping if you ever need to stab something which is you know pretty rare in, in my case um, so that was basically what I didn't like the other thing I didn't like was that it felt a bit heavy uh, when I first got it uh, this thing weighs in at like 5.9 some odd ounces so it's about double uh, what the 940 is uh, and you can see it's it's quite quite a bit bigger so if you've had a 940 you've handled one you can see that there's there's definitely a, a good size difference however in the pocket this doesn't feel that big it felt heavy for a few minutes until I got used to it uh, but then then it, it just it felt nice uh, it doesn't feel like like a boat anchor in your pocket um, the Benchmade Adamus which is considerably heavier that thing is is quite a bit thicker this way and uh, that thing is, is heavy. That thing feels big in your pocket. But this really doesn't. Um, this had great action right out of the box. It was nice and sharp out of the box, but I, I can't really leave a factory edge on anything. You can see uh, I polish that up nicely. Um, that's the big thing I want to talk about on this knife is the blade steel. I loved my 940 because the S30V, and I thought S30V was a great steel. Uh, and, and it is a great steel. Uh, however, this CPM M4 is definitely a much better steel as far as edge retention goes. If you're looking for a stainless, this isn't your thing. This is not stainless. However, for my purposes and the way I maintain a blade, and since I'm not in salty environments, that doesn't bother me. And uh, this M4 has crazy edge retention and it's quite a bit tougher. It won't uh, chip out like S30V can and uh, you can do considerable prying and actually Benchmade put a video on their YouTube um, of this thing in a vise and being pushed down and I couldn't believe how much this this blade 
bent uh, like th it like just cupped big time and it and it didn't uh, snap and then when they took the pressure off it came right back to straight so that was pretty impressive for me um, this CPM M4 is awesome it's actually the one thing I don't like about it is that it spoiled me because now you know, I'm gonna want every knife I buy in M4 because it's that good it just seems to take a, a much finer edge than the S30V so for me it, it gets sharper easier and it just keeps it seemingly forever now this weekend we had a youth camp uh, with several churches we all got together and uh, there was a huge fireplace in the back of the building where we were having uh, our services and so we constantly had a fire going because it was pretty cold up there uh, and one morning I came and there was really no kindling and I was told that I couldn't you know like go out and gather stuff uh, so and you know and I didn't want to abuse the camp policies and go out and start you know ripping stuff down and everything plus they kept the place pretty clean and it was hard to find any dead sticks uh, so they did have some split wood in the back but you know you can't start a, a fire with a log this big uh, so I found a couple split pieces and I did what I always tell people not to do and I batoned with this thing uh, now I'm not advocating it I'm not saying it's the right thing to do but uh, I did it for a couple reasons one I really wanted to get a fire going and I, I like I said it was against the rules to go out and get stuff so I wasn't gonna try to do that uh, and number two I was actually curious as to how this thing uh, would do and uh, now I know some people are gonna say oh I, I love to baton it's the best thing ever and I know other people are gonna say well you're an absolute moron for batoning um, and whatever you guys can have your opinions um, opinions are like armpits everybody's got a couple and they all stink so anyway uh, there are extreme cases where I will baton and this was one of them and you can see that some of the coating did get a little bit marked uh, and I did I did quite a bit with it um, the access lock is fine there's no dents there's no dings um, this thing is still razor sharp still shaving sharp after whittling making some feather sticks and batoning down a couple of old seasoned uh, hardwood logs so for me <laughs> this thing's a monster uh, I did my initial sharpening on it and I have just cut the living snot out of everything I could find and it just I mean is it slightly duller than when I first did it yeah sure um, will it still shave will it still go through paper like nothing yeah so it'll still do super fine tasks if you take your fingernail and you run it down like this there's no perceptible like nicks, rolls, anything like that. Maybe right there there might be one. Um, but the thing still goes through through uh, anything like, like a hot knife through butter. I've used this for kitchen prep. Uh, I've used it for EDC stuff, boxes, envelopes, paper. Uh, like I said, some wood, some carving. And, and it's just phenomenal. I, I love this thing. The action was super smooth on it it just comes out and even for the size it comes out quite fast um, even when you use the thumb studs now it's certainly I mean you can see there's how fast I can get it with my thumb try that one more time okay and then the 940 which has a much lighter smaller blade obviously is quite a bit faster but deployment is still easy and smooth with this thing um, really love this blade you know, for for the 940 being my all-time favorite, gosh, this thing is just such a... I mean, for me, they're tied. I love them both, and I still carry them both a lot. But, um, you know, this thing is new, so I don't want to put it down. But, um, I don't know, th these are both just great, great knives. I love them both. Um, and, you know, for another size comparison, here's a triage. And you can see, uh, you know, here's kind of the the girth and the length and the thickness uh, in your pocket and you can see kind of uh, you know how it stacks up but um, I love all three of these blades they're they're my three favorite folders and um, I, you know this thing is just way bigger than I ever thought I would like um, but once I got it you know now I go back to to this and I'm like oh this thing's kind of small uh, still love it still use it um, but this is an awesome knife 
if you guys are looking for like, and look, I'm not a tactical guy by any stretch, and I think everybody knows that. You know, I'm not like out there trying to act like I'm an operator or like I have military service uh, or anything like that. And hey, look, uh, if you are, I appreciate uh, your service to this country. Uh, so thank you. Um, but I'm not that guy, and I'm not, I'm not going to be pretend to be that guy. I don't intend to ever fight with this knife. Uh, but for EDC and uh, just being a beefy, strong knife, this thing rocks. Um, this thing rocks. I love it. I love. I just. I love the shape. I love the looks. The steel is top notch. Uh, the grip is great for me. It does have a glass breaker, which is kind of cool um, for emergencies. Again, I'm not a tactical guy, but uh, everyone gets in car accidents, and uh, I think it's kind of nice to have the option to just blow out your side window uh, without having to fumble around. So anyway, um, I, I guess if I was going to rate this, uh, maybe we'll do like five stars or something. Uh, so this would get five stars out of five stars. Uh, and again, some people don't mind the real sharp edges on here. I took one pass with that with that diamond rod and that took it down as much as I needed. Other than that, you know, I don't, I don't have real soft hands. I got some calluses, so it doesn't bother me that much. Um, so, I don't know, other people might find them more offensive, but I just took them down super fast. Like I said, it took me about 10 seconds, and then after that, it was about perfect. Um, so, I really like this thing, and uh, I think it's worth every penny. Um, prices are going to vary on it, but, you know, you're going to be, I think, between like 180 and, and 200 on it. Uh, now, I saved up money, and I had gift cards and all that stuff. You guys know I don't really buy anything full price, so... Uh, I did not pay full price on this thing. Um, but uh, anyway, love this thing. Built like a tank, but doesn't feel like a tank in your pocket. I don't know if it's going to show up. Um, but you, yeah, there it is. So the liners, they did skeletonize them to try to keep it light, um, but still quite strong. Um, that's about it. I mean, geez, this, this thing is an absolute boss. I know I didn't do any cutting tests, but it's like, I mean, how effective is it for you to see me slice paper? Take it from me, this thing is stupid sharp. Uh, you know, shaves like nothing. So, I just, uh, man, love this knife. So, for those of you who are interested in the review, uh, here it is. Um, great knife. Just maybe you can get a size comparison kind of in my hand when I do like a full grip on it. Still have just a just a bit sticking out of the back so you can definitely get a, a full hand on there um, you know in just about any grip that you would want uh, and you know even especially like this when you're doing like uh, cross cuts like leverage cuts on your chest and stuff super comfortable that way um, anyway there it is guys hope you enjoyed it I uh, hope this satisfies the review needs for all of my uh, my people on Instagram that asked for this. Hope you guys enjoy it. Um, oh, uh, tip up carry only, and but it's right or left handed. And as always, the access lock is my absolute favorite because I'm a lefty. Uh, so anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. God bless you guys, and I will see you next time.